Having this true curiosity on the Renvi show. That's the criticism that a lot of younger players are facing nowadays. In cricket circles especially. Yeah. Uh, it's said that not too many youngsters are able to handle the glitz and glamour. Yashasvi is one guy who's broken out. For sure. Very intensely well. Um, the glitz and glamour are the parties, the alcohol, the sex. Correct. Um, any other I mean, it's not as much as you think it is. It, I mean, in the first couple of years of IPL, it was all about that. Right now, it's not so much, you know, it's like after games, the schedule is so intense, the boys go back, they're ice bathing, there's no parties every single night, they're not going out every single night, maybe if you got a day off, then things are happening. Uh, they're not being policed as much, but for sure, there's not these copious amounts of alcohol being drunk and parties and women coming back. It's not, it's not like what people think it was. Perhaps because the IPL has become a stepping stone to the Indian cricket team. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. It's the most important competition for so many uncapped Indian players. They know that this is where they're going to be noticed. 100%. Ranveer, the one thing that I I like about the IPL and the thing that I also don't like about the IPL is both is the foreign players. You know, I've been in an ecosystem. I've seen where for a youngster, he knows this is a stepping stone. I could get an opportunity. It could be game one. It could be game 15. And I'm going to be prepared mentally, physically, emotionally for that game. But... This IPL is just a check for the foreign guys. So, you know, whether they play or whether they don't play, they get that money. And that's not going to impact so much whether they're making their national teams or not. It does for our Indian players, it doesn't for them. So I've noticed that, you know, uh, there's a little indifference when they walk onto the pitch with how they play. There's a little carelessness or carefreeness in how they execute their skills. And when they're not playing, then there's a massive energy dump from the entire team, from those players. And I don't find enough people speaking about this. Maybe it's because of sheer respect for the system or the players. But being in that environment, I've seen how foreign players who are not playing drain energy from a team. It's it's a massive, massive thing. And, and I feel that because of their worthiness or their status of who they are, that energy drain impacts a lot of our youngsters in the system. Do you think it's an outcome of bad leadership at the management level? It's very difficult to, to manage an IPL team because you've got multiple egos, multiple status. You've got tons of brands. You've got uh, relationships that are beyond that of the coach. You know, players have relationships with owners, with brands, with sponsors, all sorts of things. I don't want to blame anyone because it's an extremely complex ecosystem to, to work in and to manage things. But I do say that right up off the bat, the rules you set in place and the framework that you set in place on day one is critically important. If you give any leeway, you're done. You know, and I see this. If you don't have a strong leader like a Dhoni who can pull things in place when things are not going well, you've got no chance of pulling that team back together. You know, how you set the framework when you start is critically important. And and I would like to see foreign players being held more accountable, not to the runs or wickets they get, but to the energy they bring to a locker room and to how they nurture uh, the youngsters in that system. What's the beauty of the IPL? The beauty of the IPL is that it's a platform that attracts the best talent. And the beauty of the IPL, the beauty of sport, I tell this to my Indian football team every single day, every match we play, I said, guys, we're gonna walk on this pitch for 90 minutes. In 90 minutes, you're gonna touch the ball for about two and a half minutes. You're gonna take one touch, that's probably about 500th of a second. In 500th of a second, you can lift an entire nation of 1.5 billion people's sp spirits and energy up. One ball, one shot, one bat, one dive can lift an entire nation. I remind every athlete I work with that there's very few careers in this entire world that can have this much an impact on a nation in this amount of time. It's a very, very beautiful privilege. Okay. Um, what's some challenges when it comes to being in an IPL team, especially for the players, psychologically speaking? that the audience doesn't understand at all. Because we're just watching the game at 8 yeah. p.m. every day. We're enjoying ourselves. It's a party 
for yeah. the nation for two two and a half months. Correct. These guys have to be going through some psychological challenges. There's there's a lot. One is that uh, for the Indian youngsters, very few of people have their partners around. So two and a half months, firstly, you're away from family, you're away from loved ones. Okay. The second one is, and they're probably used to that. But the second thing is that you are on repeat. Process is being repeated every single day. The biggest challenge is if you're not playing. If you're not in the starting level and the team starts doing well, you don't know when you're going to get an opportunity. And when you come to the middle or towards the latter part of the tournament and you've not had that opportunity, you know very well that you could not be bought next season or you could be traded. Or that could be the end of your career. Right? So there is a massive imbalance of that negative energy in the team and the positive energy of the people who are doing it and trying to raise it. This is the thing that nobody sees. Okay. Um, also, the dynamic and the energy play between it. You know, very often, you know, you got everyone who's trying to make a name for themselves. There's a coach who's trying to make it, the assistant coach trying to get it, the physios, the coach, everybody's trying to get a little bit of that spotlight. And when it's not being got, there's this, there's this internal tussle in there that's happening. And you need really strong management to constantly uh, create that psychological safety in that locker room to make sure that everyone feels safe. Because why? There's a beautiful saying in sport. It's an underlying saying that no one talks about. That's why we practice every single day. The saying is that the greatest travesty on earth is getting an opportunity you're not prepared for. That's why you practice. The greatest travesty is getting an opportunity you're not prepared for. Okay. Now, when you get an opportunity, you have to be mentally, physically, and emotionally ready to take it. That's why you practice it. And that's what leadership is about. Leadership is about creating that ecosystem so that people can practice, bring everything, and that whenever you call on anyone, they're ready to take that opportunity. What goes wrong with the guys that don't make it big in the IPL? Because even in order to be a part of a playing 11 in the Indian Premier League, you need to have performed domestically. You need to have performed in your Ranji Trophy. Correct. Or at least in some tournament where you get noticed. Yeah. So you are a champion in many ways, even if you've made it to the playing 11. Yes. But you'll often see either one season wonders or people who get picked up for a very large amount of money and then are never seen after that. Yeah. What goes wrong with those guys? Half the time it's, it's one is, you know, it all, all boils down and dials down on pressure, to be honest. But the way to help and manage these athletes, which is very, very difficult, and I've seen some really great coaches do this, is they'll get a youngster in. Firstly, you can't breed nine youngsters. You can only breed two or three maximum, and you need your stability out there. But when you give a youngster an opportunity, firstly, the first thing you got to do is you got to tell him he's playing 24 hours in advance and not four hours or three hours before he plays. Because why? The preparation for that match starts the day before, mentally. So give him enough time to align his body and mind. Very often, it's not done like that. The team's announced or the squad's announced on the morning of the match. Right. First thing. Second thing is have a conversation with him and tell him, you're playing in this position. You've got two games or you've got three games. Tell him how much he has. Don't make him, there's this attitude in the IPL that every single game you're playing for your life. That shouldn't be the case. That's too much of pressure. Imagine as a podcaster, if I come and tell you every single podcast that you're going to put out there is either going to make or break your career. You know, every single, that's too much. But if all of a sudden you know I've got this amount of time and I'm going to do X amount of things, then there's a level of creativity you can bring. There's a level of personality and authenticity you can bring to play that's going to give you a better chance of success. So these are the few small things that I would love to see change. You know, I would love to see messages land in a softer way. I would love to see people be given a prolonged opportunity so that they get a fair chance to prove themselves, you know. These are the simple things that can make all the difference in the heart and mind of a young athlete. If you enjoyed this clip from The Ranveer Show, we've uploaded a ton of other clips related to a ton of other topics. So explore the channel because there's something for everyone.